So hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is precious in case you didn't know and you're new to my channel welcome and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you also like this video so i thought making a video of my own personal experience abroad um just because i'm black so <laughs> i'm sure everybody has their own personal experiences and i'm sure it's very different and the reason that I actually stared up this video was because something else happened because obviously i've been abroad for like a long time yes but <laughs> i just didn't feel it was necessary to make the video i've been asked to do the video a couple of times but yeah i just didn't see the need but something happened and i'm going to talk about it here on my channel but first i'm just going to talk about general stuff that actually happened and the things that you should expect maybe you're traveling abroad and some things will look really weird to you when they happen but brace yourselves so the first thing is a stare people are going to stare about stare at you just because you're black so they're going to look at you like something just fell down from the sky maybe uh i don't know what they think that we are actually but they just keep looking like well here maybe other places are actually different but that's what i've experienced personally like the stare especially when you're traveling and say on the flight you're the only black person honey just brace yourself just just take your phone and be pressing your phone anyway that's what i do especially when i get shy shy okay so the second experience that i've had is i whenever i'm at the custom <laughs> okay so this is not funny because i experienced it twice and that's actually the reason why i'm making this video so whenever you're at the custom clearance or you're trying to pass the border the scrutiny is just more than every other normal person of course there are other foreigners there but just because you're black or just because i'm black i'm treated differently well that's what i experienced i don't know if other people experienced it for example when i was coming back when well, i was going back to nigeria so my passport i have this baby picture there like because i was really young and stuff i wasn't making my hair i had my hair i was just like like a child and the lady's like i should take off my wig she delayed me there for hours she said she couldn't recognize me and she made she just made a whole like a big deal out of the whole difference and dramatic change and i'm like really though is this actually like is she really still doing her job or she's just being extra careful just because i'm black and it really pissed me off like so so much so the next thing i don't know if anybody has actually experienced such things like traveling outside and then when you get to where you're going to or you're living in a particular country and they just treat you like make you feel really bad like the most like i should take off my visual like shifted back like shifted back backward like and there were lots of people there it wasn't like it was in an office or like maybe there was a more nice way to do it. what if i had what if it was a cancer patient because i don't actually feel like white people don't wear wigs and i'm sure if a white person had her wig on and looked so different she wouldn't have been like shift your wig back and do all that funny stuff but it just happened Sha, because i'm black and that's what i believe next experience i had still about this custom people or border whatever police people the next one when i was coming back um i wasn't the only black person there so we had to clear somewhere and we were informed that we have to, we had to clear somewhere else and then now go to the actual border pass which i didn't understand what the difference was because if they are doing the same job they are going to check if your visa is valid or if you have a a valid document to be in the country i didn't understand why we had to be in one other office it's not like they were checking our health or like maybe checking your temperature because they're always scared of ebola or laser fever or something that could actually be contagious yeah so we just had to see this guy they're like show me your passport show me your passport and he's like open your passport like treating us like we are delayed for over three hours just because we're black yes because there were other people from other countries that came in and they were treated with so much respect they were like wait for two minutes okay just give me two two more minutes okay give me one minute okay give me okay just wait a second but us when we're like is there a problem why are we being delayed the man says well you're going to go back if there's problem we send you back to your country and i actually felt like they did that because we're black I did that they did that because they just had obviously maybe the guy in particular may, not the country as a whole but the guy in particular does probably doesn't have respect for black people or he's probably racist or something and it's really 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 really, really just sucked 
anyways what's the third one anyways let me stop talking about all the bad experiences there are actually some nice experiences so one of these that you feel like a celebrity shy especially when you're around people that are not that bad like people that are actually nice people so they want to know you and even sometimes when they stare at you it's not like they stare at you like not everybody stares at you like this disgusting stare sometimes it's actually like because they're actually curious to know much about you to know where you're coming from to know your culture and stuff so when they stare or when they try to like talk to you you shouldn't feel shy or feel embarrassed you should be proud of who you are so on that note i just want to say that just because you're black doesn't mean that you should feel less of who you are we're actually special i'm sure we all know that by now but there's still a couple of people that don't feel that way because of other people that always try to feel like because they are white or because they have a different skin tone they are just automatically smarter or they are just automatically better than us honey no so on that note you shouldn't actually feel intimidated when you see a white person or when you see someone from somewhere else that's not africa and you're from africa and you're stone black and all that stuff anyways so what other experience actually i just want to talk about i just want to rant about this bad experience i had yeah sincerely speaking so i can't really think about any other thing okay and our hair they're actually always like interested in knowing okay what's this like they're always interested in touching your hair they'll touch your hair sha, a lot of times and all that stuff like they want to know what's it made of is this your real hair so if you're traveling abroad and you're going to a place like that's not the u.s where people are like very exposed and understand personal boundaries you need to like secure your wig very well because sometimes they'll try you know we like to lie too because they're nice to lie that the wig was my natural hair where it was not my hair they will try to pull it off and they'll be taking that to me so it's better for you to just say the truth or to secure the wig by the time they are pulling it and pulling it and pulling it they will really not figure out that it's not your hair anyways on that note i'm done talking this video Am I done talking? Anyways, on that note, that's the end of my video. I know it's very short. Um, let me know if you... I want to know what your experiences has, have also been like. Okay, being abroad, like bad experiences, nice experiences, good experiences. Let me know in the comment section. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm sure you already know that I want you to subscribe. And I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe already and join the family. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Like, like, like. Share and share your share with your friends your family and all those people that you want to know me which is everybody Ugh. anyways i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye